All of us that live in a westernized society like the United States are at risk for developing colorectal cancer. The overall average risk of developing colorectal cancer in our lifetime is about 6%. So 6 out of 100 of us over our lifetime will get a colon or rectal cancer. The, some of us are at higher risk than others though, and if we remember that the cancer arises because of genetic uh, alterations in the cells lining the colon, it's no surprise that having a family history of colon and rectal cancer is a prime risk factor for getting the disease yourself. Uh, because although most of the genetic changes happen because of our environment and because of what we eat and because of our lifestyle, if we inherit some genetic changes from our parents, then that puts us at increased risk of getting colon cancer, not only an increased risk of the cancer, but of getting it early uh, at, a, at an age where we might not even think uh, that we are at risk. And so knowing your family history is a very important aspect of um, knowing your risk and taking measures to prevent the disease. If you have one first degree relative affected with colon and rectal cancer, and first degree relatives are your parents, brothers, sisters and children, then your risk is about two and a half times average population risk. So instead of 6% lifetime, now it's up to about 15% lifetime. If you have two first degree relatives affected with colon and rectal cancer, so maybe your dad and your sister, then your risk is over fourfold increased. So instead of 6%, it's now up to about 25% lifetime risk of colon and rectal cancer for you. If one of your first degree relatives is affected under the age of 50, then again your risk is about fourfold increased up to about 25% of getting colon and rectal cancer in your lifetime if you don't do anything about it. Some of the other risk factors for colon and rectal cancer include having had polyps or cancer yourself. Um, some other cancers are associated with colon and rectal cancer, so uterine cancer and ovarian cancer in women. Uh, possibly breast cancer, it's a little bit controversial, uh, but that may be associated and things like bladder cancer in men um, may be associated with colon cancer. Um, other risk factors are in the environment. Uh, we mentioned these as potential causes of colon and rectal cancer, but certainly um, eating a diet that's high in red meat and animal fats uh, puts you at high risk. Uh, smoking is associated with colorectal cancer. Drinking alcohol in particular in some countries like Australia Drinking beer is associated with a high risk of colorectal cancer. And having a sedentary lifestyle, being overweight, are risk factors uh, for colon and rectal cancer.